what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to go over the fastest glitchiest way to be able to complete team affinity season three in about three hours and four to five minutes if you're new to the channel drop a like on the video hit that red subscribe button turn your notifications on you don't want to be a hater your whole life let's get into today's banger if you're looking for great gaming services Head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. Now the new season is live. This one is very, very easy, very simple. Like I said, you can get it done in a little over three hours. Now you usually need 150 team affinity points for each one of these divisions, okay? So you got six total divisions, very easy. What I did was the collections. Now, if you was paying attention and you invested in the Mark Canyas and all the cards that I told you that was 75, 76 overalls, I had 350 to 450 of a lot of different players. So I was able to go in there and finish all these collections off the rip. It took me probably four to five minutes on each one of the divisions to get these done. This one would be 15, you complete this, 30, 40, 45. Very simple. Then you go to collections, flashbacks and legends and then you will rinse and repeat for all the different divisions and that's going to already get you a lot of good cards that you want it's going to get you packs it's going to get you cards you'll be able to get jacob de grom trey turner ozzy albin the next thing that you will want to do the fastest way is the showdowns now this is not the normal showdowns this showdown is very easy i used to have trouble on the showdowns when the game first came out now you got four mini bosses and then one big boss. By the time you get to this big boss, you should already have the 15 out of 15 runs. And I've played this already about 10 times. So I got a lot of vultures saved up. At the end of this video, I should be at about 80, 85% in each and every division. And in about another 40 to 45 minutes, I have this all the way completed. Okay, so you're going to enter with 500 stubs on this. And you're going to want to do it two times on every division and then you can go and do two moments on every division or you can just knock out the strikeouts that's going to be the fastest and easiest way you don't have to do like before and really grind set your whole lineup with all them players you don't have to do that exchanges collections two showdowns and then one or two moments or you can go play the computer and just do the two strikeout missions okay so you're going to enter with 500 stubs Right here, you're gonna get 250, 250. That's your 500 stubs back. And on these, you only gotta score one or two runs. So usually two to four hits is enough to complete the whole mission. So then you are just making stubs, 250, 500 stubs for free. And then right here, you get another 500 stubs plus your vulture. And then you're gonna get pecs on the way also. So if you do this over and over and over, in about a couple hours, you can have a free 50 packs. They're not the best packs, but they free packs. Until we get a conquest in the game, this is going to be the best method to be able to get unlimited packs. You're going to get unlimited stubs because as long as you get a few hits, you are making a profit. You're making almost a thousand to 1500 stubs just playing the game and you're getting some of the top notch players in the game at the same time. And you are also getting XP for the fourth inning program. So this program, all in all, is a big W. So far, I put Ozzy Albis on the team, and he's really the only person that I'm using. But I was able to fill up my bench with Jose Ramirez, Matt Olson, Escobar, and then I was able to fill up my ball pen with the upgraded Jacob DeGrom, and then German Marquez, and then at the bottom, we got Alex Rays, we got Gregory Soto, because he's from the Detroit Tigers, I'm from Michigan, and then we got Craig Kimbrell. Once you get done with all that, come back and open up all your packs save all your packs to the end don't be impatient save all your packs to the end you should have 120 or more of these you should have a few balling as a habits you should have a few standard packs especially if you're doing a showdown you'll probably have 24 to 25 of these do your exchanges do your collections two showdowns per division and then go in there against the computer and then and then go versus the computer and knock out the two five strikeouts or the two extra base hit people and you will get done in about three hours and four to five minutes like i said i did about two and a half hours so i still got about 40 minutes of grinding left but i would be all the way complete if i were to play all the way through i would have the entire 
program done. Like I showed y'all earlier, you could also just go on the market and just go flipping crazy. It's big gaps on 90% of these cards. You can go on the market, you can make yourself a lot of stubs. On my last video, you seen I was down to 7,000 stubs, and then on yesterday's video, I was back up to about 15, 17,000 stubs. And you can see right now, I gave y'all a flipping video. I flipped about 35 to 40 cards. I start doing the showdowns for the new team affinity, and I'm already up to 250,000 stubs again. Everything that I had in my binder worked out perfectly for the team affinity. So if I tell you to invest in McCutcheon's lower overalls, it's gonna help you out in the long run. It don't mean that they are gonna get upgraded to a diamond. It means that when certain things come into the game, you will be able to take advantage of it. Right here, Corey Seager, like I showed y'all, that's a 1500 gap, you're gonna take six off. That's gonna be an extra 900 stubs. We're gonna do that again because his price is still good. Now look at that, I just hit the button, it went up to 7,000, so we're gonna buy him. We're gonna do create buy order, we're gonna do 50, 4, 30. We're gonna go four stubs over, just so he can hurry up and sell them to me, okay? Now, the 7165 might not stay around that long because it's actually only one of them up at that price, and then the rest of them are actually higher than that, so that person undercut. But you can see in the right corner, fastest stub method is gonna help for team affinity, it's gonna help for any kind of content drop. When I put a video out, I'm giving you a video for a reason. So we can come back right here and now we can sell him. The highest one is 7165, we're gonna go 7163, we're gonna go two under that one. And I'm still gonna make about 900 stubs. Like I said, don't worry about the 400 profit. Look at the ones where you can get 650 to 700 minimum and 1,000 to 1,200 super, super fast. Now, if it's a 1,700 profit, it's gonna take longer for it to sell. But if you can stay within that 800, 1,200 range in about two or three minutes, you got four or five cards going at once, you're gonna be making every three or four minutes, five or six thousand stubs drop a like on the video if you're not a hater it's all love big giveaway on twitter so make sure that you follow me on twitter so you can get the information on that and i see y'all in the next video one love